This video is the final one um, on data analysis for the Higher Human course and this one's from the 29 paper, uh, 2019 paper sorry, um, and it's question 10. So a couple of these questions I've scored out um, later on which is basically just because they're knowledge based so I'm just going to only focus on the problem solving based ones. So again as usual I'm going to highlight the bits that are important um, so I'll do that in a minute when it comes to later on. Um, for the First bit is asking you to identify the group that shows the greatest percentage decrease in death rate from CVD between 20, uh, 2001 and 2013. So basically what you're looking for is 2001, these values, and 2013, these values, okay? So it's asking for the group. So basically what you're going to have to do is determine whether it's English men, English women, Scottish men or Scottish women. So, because there's not very much space in this page, I've pulled a wee bit of paper up so that I can just do this calculation then now. So, for English men, what you're looking to do is find out the difference between their two numbers. So basically their two numbers are 603 and 324. So, your difference between those two numbers is 279. And you divide it by their starting number, which is 603. And then you times that value by 100 once you've got it, and that'll give you 46%. Okay. Your English women, um, your numbers are 402 and then 221, so your difference between them is 181. And you divide it by your starting value, which is 402, times by 100 as usual, and then what your answer will be is 45%. Scottish men, two values 684 and 396, so your difference between those two numbers is 288 divided by 684, which is your starting value, times by 100, and we'll give you 42%. And then the Scottish women, two values 476 and then 275, so your difference between those two numbers then is 201. It'll be your starting number, which is 476, times 100, and that'll give you 42% as well. So looking at the data from those four groups, the question is asking which one is the greatest percentage decrease? That'd be your males in England. So your group then would be men in England. Okay. So that's quite a lot of work for one mark because you've got to do four percent change calculations. So you have to make sure that you're really firm with how to do those calculations so that you don't spend time or waste time doing them when you don't understand how to do them. Uh, question two or part two of A is death rates have decreased in all groups between 2001 and 2013. So state another conclusion that could be drawn from the data in the table. So basically what you're looking at is comparing the groups. So comparing them um, whether it's men or women, in which country. Okay, and just looking at the data and seeing what kind of um, information you can draw from that. So first of all, if you compare men and women, so comparing the English men and women and the Scottish men and women, death rates are always higher in men. Okay, it's not the only thing you can say. Um, you can always say that death rates are always higher in Scotland. Okay, for each um, each group, for example, so death rates are higher generally in Scotland. Um, you can say that if you're looking at the highest ones, Scottish men have the highest death rate. Or you can say inversely that English women have the lowest. Um, or you can also say that English death rates have decreased more. So there's a fair few things that you can say for that. Okay, so just look at the general trends and see what's happening within that. 
Uh, part three is expressed as a simple whole number ratio. So again, no decimals. The death rate from cardiovascular disease in English men. So I'm going to get a different coloured highlighter. Um, so English men compared to Scottish men in 2013. So 2013 is this line here. And we're looking at English men compared to Scottish men. Okay, so if I pull the data down, we'll get 324 English men and 396 Scottish men. Now, to make a simple whole number ratio, what you have to do is find a common denominator and the largest common denominator. So what that means is basically the biggest number that will divide into both. And if you work your way up and through them, basically 36 is the number that will divide into both of these equally. Um, or not equally, but we'll divide into both of these. So if you divide 324 by 36, you get 9. And if you divide 396 by 36, you get 11. Alright, so the next question then was 10a part 4. So explain how the data on the table allows a valid comparison um, of deaths from CVD between England and Scotland to be made, despite their populations being different sizes. So often this question um, is actually normally referring to the fact that it will give a percentage rather than the whole numbers. Okay, but this actual, um, the data that they're showing you isn't given it as a percentage. But what it is given you as, is as per 100,000 of the population. So they're looking at per 100,000 of the population, they're looking at the numbers per 100,000. Similar to the idea that we'd be doing if they were looking at it as percentage as well. Okay, so they're looking at it as a unit from that population. So to make it valid comparison, they wouldn't look at it as the whole number, they're looking at it as death rates per 100,000. Okay, now I've missed this question out because this is Unit 3 content, um, but we'll look at this blurb of the question because this will relate to the one more that we've still got to cover. So it states here that 3,000 men took part in the clinical trial to, dis um, to investigate the effect of a cholesterol-reducing drug. Half the men were given the cholesterol-reducing drug and half were given a placebo. So part two of this question is asking to state what aspect of the design of the study increased the reliability results. So reliability can talk about repetition or it tends to talk about large sample size. So this one is talking about a large sample size because 3,000 men were used. So you can refer to large numbers or 3,000 men used in the study. Or you can see there are 1,500 in each group. Or you can just generally say that a large sample size was used. Okay, and that finishes off the question 10 from the 2019 paper for data handling.